Hello. This video will explain how to render out only a part of a matinee sequence into a video and how to control post effects. If you want to have general information about how to use matinee to render a video, I linked an article in the description which explains this very well. We want to set only a part of the matinee to be rendered out and you might think that these green arrows which you can move around do this job, but that's not true. These only control what happens when you press the loop button because then yeah, you see this area is looped. But this does nothing for you when it comes to rendering out uh, a matinee sequence with this movie function. You can move around these red triangles and this is in fact the end of the matinee sequence and here the rendering will stop. The problem is you can't move the beginning, you can't move the start red triangle. So what you want to do is you can open this dialog and you can close the matinee sequence editor and then you click the matinee sequence in the world outliner and here you activate show all advanced details. This is important or you just search for force and here you activate force start position and enter start position in my case for example 14 seconds. I set the red triangle to 15 so our rendering process should take one second. Let's see. Uh, very important is that you save now. And now I capture the movie and then we should see one second of capturing. Yep, yeah, and it worked. So this is the first step. The second step uh, is how to control the uh, post effects because here is an example. Um, on the left I had some problems with some jacked edges. It doesn't look really nice. And here is what, what I got after a small change. This looks really clean and that's what we want. And one thing is you can add a post process volume to a level and control some effects there. But I had to click on the camera and there change the anti-aliasing option, uh, activate this one and set it to none. The standard is uh, temporal anti-aliasing. I set it to none, activate it, and now you shouldn't get any jagged edges. You can also change options like, for example, the motion blur. And if you don't find an option here, you can try to use the uh, post-process volume. But using the post-process volume and not setting the setting in the camera didn't do anything for me. The post pose volume didn't override the camera settings. So I had to use, I had to set it up in the camera. That's all. Thanks for watching and I hope it helped you a bit.